miscarriage, stillbirth, SIDS, neonatal, or any other type of pregnancy issue, there's a very special way to share your child's legacy. The nonprofit Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep is honoring babies through butterflies at a very special remembrance garden in Lakewood. And here to tell us all about it are Gina Harris and Cheryl Haggard. Um, this is new to us. There are a lot of things that go along uh, with this nonprofit. Why don't you tell me what Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep is all about? Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep was started in 2005 after the death of my fourth child, Maddox. He was six days old. He was born with a condition that we were unaware of during our pregnancy. We had had excellent prenatal care and ultrasounds, even an amnio, and it just did not pick up what his condition was. Six days after he was born, my husband and I made the decision to remove him from life support. But before we did, I knew I had to have a way to remember him. And I had had my camera, my own digital camera, in the hospital for those first six days. And looking at those color photographs, that's not what I wanted to hang on the walls of my home. I wanted beautiful, sensitive, timeless photographs, and I wanted them to be in black and white. Mm -hmm. We hired a photographer that evening that we removed our son from life support, and she helped us create those memories. I wanted intimate portraits where I was cradling him in mm -hmm. my arms, mm -hmm. and to get those photographs, I knew that he would not be alive in those photographs. Um, so that's why we have photographs of him with my camera in color when he was alive and then mm -hmm. photographs by the professional photographer. And walking out of that hospital that evening with empty arms, there was a glimmer of hope mm -hmm. um, leaving, leaving the hospital, knowing that I would see my son again through that medium of portraiture. And after seeing those photographs, the idea came of creating the organization for other families because I was not the first and I was not going to be the last to lose a child. And I wanted those other families to receive that hope that I had received and I did not want them to have to worry about the cost. So the photographer and I started the nonprofit, Now We Lay Me Down to Sleep, to offer the services to families at no cost. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. what an in incredible thing you're doing. Thank I'm you. so sorry for your loss. Thank you. And, and Gina, I know that you've also lost two children. Uh, how has this uh, helped you um, over the years as you look at these pictures, as, as a, you look at the butterflies? Kind of tell us how it helps you and other parents. Mm -hmm. Well, 11 years ago, I was pregnant with our first son, David, and we had a fatal diagnosis that he would not live past birth. And I would have never thought of photographing him. And I always thank Cheryl for even thinking of this idea. And a friend told me about Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep. I was a little hesitant at first, but we decided to get the photographs. And then sadly, our second pregnancy with Ethan, he had a very severe condition as well. And when he uh, was born and passed away, we chose not to photograph him because his condition was very severe so I um, have that perspective of losing two children and having photographs of David but not of Ethan mm -hmm. and it has had a significant impact on our healing process these photographs document the lives of the babies and oftentimes people want to just brush it under the rug and forget that th our mm -hmm. babies even existed my babies were still born I weren't even I wasn't even given birth certificates but I was given death certificates and I had to bury my babies and these photographs help document the existence of our babies' lives and so many others. Thank you for sharing your stories. Um, and I hate to even rush us through this because this is so sensitive and, and so um, dear to you guys. But I do want to talk about the butterflies because this is another aspect of the campaign, right? Yes, because pregnancy and infant loss is such a taboo subject still in today's society. Uh, we are raising awareness and we have these butterflies on display at Lakewood Heritage Center mm -hmm. um, over off of Wadsworth in Lakewood. And for families who'd like to honor their baby, we have a baby's name on each butterfly. Mm -hmm and we are displaying them throughout the whole month of September until September 29th, which will come, come, come away, <laughs> uh, which will end with our walk. Um, okay. And that'll be on September 29th, our Remembrance Walk that we do every year. This will be the 15th year for this walk. Wow. And who all can uh, get a butterfly and take part mm -hmm. in the walk? Anyone who's experienced any type of pregnancy or infant loss, so a miscarriage, stillbirth, early infant loss, SIDS, uh, so anyone. And while we photograph babies that are typically stillborn or die shortly after birth, uh, this is for anyone who's lost a baby at any point in their pregnancy. 
and we read every baby's name and release a butterfly mm -hmm. at this event which honors their babies. Oh, after, wow. after your baby has died, you often don't hear their name or see their name in print. And so hearing their name and then seeing their name in print on the t-shirt in our program book and multiple other places helps honor and validate the existence of it's the babies. Healing. It's healing. Yeah. It's very healing. I know exactly you. what you guys are saying, that, that once someone passes, you don't hear their name. And Correct. that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank and, you. And especially, you know, the younger babies because they just yeah. haven't lived, so they haven't had a chance to right. create a legacy or a history. And this yeah. is the way to honor them and, and create those legacies. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. And if you'd like to honor your baby with a remembrance butterfly, visit nowilaymedowntosleep.org or call 720-283-3339. You can purchase one butterfly for $10 or two butterflies for 15 your baby's name will be attached to the butterfly and installed in the Remembrance Garden at the Lakewood Heritage Center, and it will be on display until September 29th. That's the same. Um that's the same day the Remembrance Walk, our journey together, will be held at the Lakewood Heritage Center. And you can register at nowilaymedowntosleep.org.